So you're planning a trip to Las Vegas and you want a luxury hotel experience without breaking the budget. Now, things have gotten quite expensive here in Vegas, but you've come to the right place. We're sharing with you five of some of the best luxury hotels for your money here in Las Vegas. It's check-in time. What's up, you guys? So we are back at the Cosmopolitan for some more fun and adventure, except this time we booked the cheapest from here at the Cosmo. <laughs> That's right. We were fortunate at actually a weekday rate of $89 a night, and that includes resort fees, which is really a great rate. And we're in a terrace studio room here at the Cosmo. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Now, the last time we were here, we actually stayed in a wraparound sort of terrace suite that overlooked like the Bellagio Fountain, and it had it all. That was a pretty cool room, right? That was an amazing room. And what about that pool? Now we have quite a bit to check out. So this room, I think it's gonna be a nice little old room tour. And it is the holiday season here, so I am dying to see Finally, this rooftop skating rink here at the Cosmo. I know, it uh, looks awesome, so we're excited. We actually have not skated there before. No. So this will be a first. I'm ready to go <laughs> and skate. All right, you ready to rock? I'm ready. Let's rock. Door slam. Hey, welcome to our terrace studio here at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. It's in the Chelsea Tower. It's a very nice room for being one of the cheaper rooms here. Oh, uh, it's impressive. Right? I'm yes. just saying. So I think we should get this party started because this is really nice. Let's kick things off in the bathroom. Now that is one nice bathroom, right? Oh, that bathroom's awesome. I think that uh, jacuzzi tub has your name on it. I think you might be right. I just gotta get some bubble bath going in there yes. and I'm set. But that shower was pretty massive too. That's a nice shower. And now I am feeling a little comfortable here on this couch, just chillaxing. So why don't you get a look at this living room? Well, that living room is definitely a comfortable living room, right? It is. It's, right? It's long, a, long couch. I'm not sure if it's a sofa bed. It's, a, it, it's, not. No, it's not. I like, it's incredibly spacious. Yeah. Spacious. It's very spacious. You could definitely fit on that over there. Oh, yeah. But I want to show you something over at the bar. Check this out. Uh-oh. It comes with a refrigerator. Ah, refrigerator. And we need now, to stock that. Thing. We do. There's nothing in here at the moment, but there's That's definitely awesome. going to be a room to put some drinks in there for sure. Now, of course, it has the dreaded mini bar items, um, as well as in-room dining if you want. So you just gotta scan the QR code and you are good to go. One other thing I really do enjoy seeing in hotel rooms, and it's over here. Now, you know I love the robes. They're so long and they're super soft. And not only does it come with the robes, which we do love, Dave, and there's one for you too. Oh, excellent. Nice. But it has slippers. slippers. Come on. I mean, you can't beat that. I love when you walk into hotel rooms and you had that. I mean, you just feel right at home. It's all now, about the robes and the slippers. All about the robes and slippers. Now, it's also about uh -oh. the beds. And I have to tell you, this bed looks really good comfortable. But there is only one true way to determine its comfortability. And that's what, Dave? Well, 
That's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time. <laughs> wow, so that bed definitely is very comfortable, right? That's a comfortable bed. Now, last but certainly not least, I think it's time for us to check out that view. Now that's a nice view. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. And of course you got Aria right over across the way. And look at the Christmas lights they put on there. That's really super pretty. neat. Nothing wrong with this view. Now there's a more expensive room where you have the Bellagio fountain view. Oh yeah. But this isn't bad. Not bad. This is very cool this up here, so cool. right? You, to think you're sitting here on the rooftop of Cosmopolitan and it's like having some warmed eggnog, delicious and spiked, having a skating rink in Las Vegas. I mean, this is kind of right? like, it's pretty cool. What do you think? Well, I think it's cool, but you know what's even cooler? <laughs> this is even cooler. You got a little, you got a little personal fire pit and s'mores. s'mores. This is the largest chopsticks I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, in my life. those are weapons. But yeah, it's like a package. What's deal. in that? What's in that bag? You got your s'mores roasting sticks. You got your graham oh, crackers. Yeah. Oh, your chocolate, and of course, your marshmallows. Excellent. Nice. I think we need to get busy. I think we'll get busy on some s'mores making. Do we skate first in s'mores or s'mores and skate? I don't know. I'm thinking a little s'more action. S'more action. I am ready. Let s'more, the, s'mores at the Cosmo. S'mores at the Cosmo. Go. Let the right. holiday festivities begin. Right. I should, I should probably cue some like Christmas music right now. Right. It just takes a little bit of time. It takes a little time. It's a one at a time job on that you one. Gotta slow, you gotta slowly add. You smell it though. You smell that marshmallow. Ooh. Now you got a fire going. You got it going up. Well, I am going to take that off. Oh, there it goes. Some, make it like a sandwich, I guess. Flame on. Nice. Oh yeah. So you gotta you gotta pinch it. You gotta pinch it with that. Okay, okay. And then pull it. Okay. Getting coached. Not oh, bad. Mmm. Ah, oh, this feels like the perfect holiday. Alright. If you're gonna have a holiday in Vegas, have some s'mores and an ice skating rink on the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> yeah, I will. And this is really dynamite. It's like warm eggnog. It has like a some cinnamon in there. Mm. Mm. Well, cheers for a great night. Yeah. S'mores and our right. ice skating's up next. Ice skating.
we're staying in one of the cheapest rooms here at Mandalay Bay to kind of check out that experience. Yes, now previously we've stayed in some of the nicest suites here at Mandalay Bay, and we do love it, but I wanted to show you the cheapest room here at Mandalay Bay. Yeah, and you know what? There's a lot of ground to cover, including that awesome wave pool they have going on out there and the river run. But as always, we want to start off with the room tour so we can check out what this place has to offer. You ready to rock? I am ready. Let's rock! <laughs> Oh, hey, fancy seeing you over there. All right, so let's just quickly, it's a small room. It's quite nice for one of the cheapest rooms here at Mandalay Bay, but let's start off with the bathroom. Now, I definitely like the fact that they have this bathtub. You know, after those long walks on the Las Vegas Strip, it's always nice to soak those feet. So it's also nice too that the actual bathroom is separate. <gasps> oh, uh, does anyone knock anymore? <laughs> So before we get into the bed test, you guys, we want to show you what the incredible cheapest room view here at Mandalay Bay looks like. You ready for this? Let me show you. Now that's one cheap view. Dave, it's still kind of dark in here. Can you open the window up a little more? Oh yeah. I have a second window over here. Wait, oh. wait, where is it? That, what? Where's that second window? Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, nothing like it. All right, you know what, Dave, I have to say. We've stayed here quite a few times and I have, you know, you never know. The beds are different in each room, but this bed feels kind of comfortable. And the only true way to determine its comfortability is what, Dave? Well, that's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all, it's time. Another option is breakfast at House of Blues daily, 7 a.m. to noon. Just like that, breakfast is served. Yes, <laughs> they're super fast here. Yeah. Uh, now it is empty. Yeah, right? and that's most likely because, you know, the echo's coming from the fact that there is no one in here. So. Exactly, we're very early, very early today. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we decided to go with what's called the ultimate breakfast. This is one order of the ultimate breakfast for $21. It comes with three pancakes normally. They actually, we were lucky they gave us four. So thumbs up to that. Yes. Right. And two eggs any style. Uh, and then what else they got? They got uh... Yes, we got of course, almost like the potatoes, hash browns, giant size sausage. Now they do have maple syrup. Now it's not the real maple syrup, but that's okay. We are hungry. It's kind of the one with a little bit of the cornstarch. Yes. But I'm sure it's gonna taste just as good with a little butter on top of that. So yum, yum, give me some. <laughs>
our stuff, I will certainly say that was not bad. I mean, not the best breakfast we had here on the trip, but certainly not bad for the value. Yeah, no, it's a good budget option. It was $10.50 a person, so $21 total. Good deal for the strip. Not bad. Bob, it's amazing. I want to get into that uh, little wave pole. How many times have we like been here and like looked out or seen this or just oh, walked yeah. past? And it's like first yeah. time yeah, here. Yeah, we've been to multiple. This is like the third pool we've been to here. But of course, this is the crown jewel of the Mandalay Bay pool. The right? crown jewel. Yeah. All Beautiful. right. All right, Dave. So you know we're gonna do this a different way today. Normally we kind of make it just uh. Let's do a little magic, a little camera magic right now. Take a couple of fingers and do a little snappy poo. Okay, ready? Put your hands in there. One, two, three. Nice. Voila. Nice job. Voila, there you go. You better get in that water before that we get blown blow those, away. The wind's gonna blow those towels away. We're not gonna be here when we get back. <laughs> Got the shoe. Why is there a shoe on there? Oh. Who puts a shoe on the towel? I do, and it's windy. But it's windy. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Water's really nice. Yeah? Oh, yeah. oh that one. Nice. It's gonna be really windy today, so that means you're gonna have some big waves going. Yeah, really good. Big wave Dave. That's right, big wave Dave. Surf's up. Oh my. Give it a good show there, my my. Alright. Yeah. Uh, once I'm in, it's gonna be a little chilly. Well you know it's nice. I think this is probably as far as I'm gonna go. It's really right. windy. Wow, it's so windy. windy. Yeah. Look at the trees! Yeah, Are you kidding me? Wow. It's probably really windy right now, even through this oh, the, the camera. Oh! Big wave. Whoa! That's cold. Oh. Woo! That was a big that? wave. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was cold. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, we were in the middle of the desert here in uh, Las Vegas, and we yeah. got a nice little oceanfront property. Unfortunately, too, this is not an all-season pool. Right. So this doesn't. This pool here does not. Yeah, it'll close. Actually, it'll close at the end of this month, I think. Yeah, end of October. Cool. That's right over there. That's like right as you enter oh. the gate. Here comes a here comes a wave coming at you. Here we go, coming at you. Whoa, let's watch it crash. Oh, I love it. I know it's not too bad. It's just windy as all uh, all heck. All heck, baby. All heck. I think we maybe should check out the uh, little river run. Let's kind of because that's fun. I'm ready. Oh, it is. A little bit cold right now, but we're gonna head over to the uh, river run here at Mandalay Bay to check it out. Oh, I'm so excited! All right, here we go. Back for that river run. <laughs> right. So you ready, babe? Ready for the lazy river? I'm ready for the lazy river. Now we don't have tubes. No, because you have to buy them. We're not gonna buy. I know. Tube. You gotta buy them. They'll inflate them for you. We gotta yeah. kind of bring your own tubes. Yeah. So this is coming to Mandalay Bay. Bring your own tubes. They'll uh, inflate them up for you. Yeah. But we're just gonna kind of float on down. Oh, see how I'm it goes. Float on down. Float on down the lazy yeah. river. Hang in there and float. Just, just right? Just let it go. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, the current's kind of strong. Yeah, current is strong. <laughs> They're kind of moving along pretty good. <laughs> right? All right. Like Floating this. down. Because you had this kind of pressure with the swimming competition, right? You like <laughs> we'll set world records. <laughs> We're going to set some world records today.
and I'm just gonna float the rest of the way. This cruise. That little bit works me out. I'm done. Right? <laughs> they don't like going the other way. <laughs> so we're kind of trapped. Woo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Turn it up, world. Hey, my, all of my friends. Now, if you're looking for the perfect beach day in Las Vegas, Manlay Bay is the spot. Now it's time to relax a little bit on the beach. <sighs> and just kind of listen to the waves crash as they come in. Yeah, it's one thing missing. Pina colada! Oh, pina colada time! <laughs> pina colada! Da, 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 da. I want it today! Hey, baby! Hey. Your pina colada has arrived. Now it's a large and it okay, is okay, 30. Okay, okay, I was gonna say, dare I ask? Oh, yeah, how yeah. Much this one is. Maybe you shouldn't dare. Uh -oh. No, it's a going rate, about 30 bucks. Ah, 30 bucks. so it's consistent with some of the other places we've had. It is. Well, let's see if it tastes consistent. <laughs> nice. Cheers. Cheers, Ada. Ah, uh, That's strong. I told you. There you go, baby. Nice, thank you. What's up, you guys? All right, so we are gonna try our hand here at the Mandalay Bay for some slot action. Slot action. <laughs> slot action, here we go. Kicking things off with one of our favorite games. Let's rock. That's right, we are here at Wheel of Fortune. All right, Dave. Awesome. How are we doing this one? All right, so we put $100 in. We're gonna start off with seven credits for a dollar seventy-five bet. I like that. Hold on, before we do, I gotta rub the gold span. Gotta rub, rub that gold spin. Rub that gold spin. Give me a G-O-L-D spin. spin deluxe. Rub it. All right. Can we let's, kick it off? Let's kick it off. Oh, come on. Wanna be nice, girl? Oh! Ooh. That is definitely a read between the lines. Now, if we get too many of those there, we're moving, moving on. on. Yeah, we're moving on. Let's do it. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Uh, it's time I like to that. spin the wheels. We got to spin the magic. Now that objective right there is the 344. We'd like to see that action there. You ready to rock it? Uh, I am ready. Alright. Here we go. Look up. Come on, make some magic happen. Make some magic happen. Make some magic happen. Welcome to the cheapest room here at Resorts World Las Vegas. Now last time we stayed at Resorts World, we stayed in an entertainment suite. And if you've not seen that video, you should definitely check that out. Now today we're staying in a King Deluxe room, which is quite a bit smaller. So I will say for a basic room, their deluxe is a very nice room for their basic. Now it is on the smaller side, so there's not much for me to kind of show you around. So I figured instead of me giving you like a guided tour, just let you check out this place for yourself. Check it out. There is definitely something I want to mention, which I think is pretty neat. There's refrigerators, apparently it seems, in every room. We had a refrigerator in our entertainment suite when we were here, but also the basic rooms get the refrigerator as well. So nice. it's a really nice little refrigerator. Nothing you can kind of put your stuff. That. Nothing wrong with a little fridge. I like that. But here, 
on top, they have a lot of little different things that, you know, you can pay for, um, like candies, treats, snacks, charging kits, wine. There's even something called a Resort World Smart Microphone. I'm not even sure what that is. Of course, they do have the Intimacy Kit for those of you ready to get some intimacy on or something like that. But that is just at your picking right next to what they have here is ooh. the, ooh, that's locked apparently dreaded right now. Dreaded mini bar. I guess you need to let them know if you're gonna use the dreaded mini bar, but the dreaded mini bar. Wow. And just know, anything you pull out of this here, you gotta make sure it's back within 30 seconds or they will be charging that to your room. That's like the 30 second rule. 30 second rule, just saying, make sure it goes back. But check out this. Oh, it is a nice little mini refrigerator. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of my refrigerator. Get out of that refrigerator. Come on out of there. Now, one thing, babe, I do miss, there's no sofa in here, but hey, it's the cheapest room, so what can you expect? But there is that new carpet smell. It does right? have that new carpet so, smell. What's wrong with that? Oh, uh, like well, that. since you don't have the sofa, you can enjoy the views from that chair. Now, you know, I will say, seeing those views outside totally reminded me of our stay at Circus Circus. Remember that, Dave? I do. That was kind of crazy. Okay. It was. But all I have to say is I'm sure this bed is not gonna be the same as that one. But let's, you know, the only real true way, it looks kinda nice and plush, it feels really great actually, but the real way to determine its comfortability is what, Dave? Well, that's the bed test, of course. That's right, y'all. It's time. For the bed test. That bed was really comfortable. Uh, it was amazing. Plus, it has four pillows. Oh, just what I like, four pillows. You know what? What? We're gonna sleep really comfortable tonight. Resorts World Pool. The last time we were here, boy, it was kind of a VIP. We we're kind of in the Infinity Water, which is pretty cool, right? A oh, very cool spot with a cool view of the strip as well. I know, but this time it's great. We're kind of set back. It's peaceful. It's quiet. It's all those things in between. And I just have to say, time for some margaritas. Absolutely. And we just want to let you guys know, the price of the room we paid was six to eight dollars a night. Now that does not include resort fees, which is a whopping 45 bucks a night. Whoa. So keep that in mind. But the cheapest room at this time, weekday, about six to eight dollars a night. And of course we got the strawberry margaritas. How's your strawberry margarita, Dave? It is damn good, baby. Dang delicious. Cheers. And of course they put it in the uh, I like resorts it. world. Mm. Deliciousness. <laughs> So 
we are excited. David, how excited are you? This is a really funky spot. I am so curious to see if Sun's Out, Bun's Out almost has that similar feel to what? Well, egg slide over yes, Cosmo, I yeah. Know. It feels like it. I mean, it's, the only difference right now is that the lines don't seem as long as eggs right. like eggs like you got to get there like really early this feels like a little bit more fluid it's, you know, yeah they move yeah they move you through quickly quick. and uh it's really kind of cool though excited to try we can try the soft scrambled and what do you we're actually both getting soft, soft scrambled. scrambled with bacon a little bacon a little in there. recommended bacon on that soft scrambled sandwiches and i think that was like nine dollars plus whatever additional for the bacon right exactly um so bacon was three dollars extra okay so, so 12, it turned into so, like a twelve dollar so twelve dollars sandwich. sandwich that sounds about egg slutty prices and of course, we got some fresh squeezed orange juice. Right. That looks nice. Oh, I hear it. I just called oh, it. Oh, they in. called it. Okay. Time to pick up the food. Wow. That's looking pretty good. That looks amazing. Looking pretty good Are right you there. Are kidding me right now? What's what? That? I'm I know. Delicious. That's crazy. Well, this is a beast of a breakfast sandwich. Looks awesome. I love the soft scramble with the cheese in there. The onion, there's some spicy mayo in there as well, and the bacon looks good, so can't wait to jump into that. Wow, you know, I totally see what you mean. It's got, it's just incredible. I mean, that thick, thick layer of like cheddar, you're right with the bacon, and that brioche bun, which is really gonna bring home that soft deliciousness. It has a little bit of a crispy layer to that brioche bun. And it, um, again, this here does remind me of right here, the way it's wrapped there, it's a little egg slut like Now, you know, we are big fans of egg sluts over at Cosmopolitan, but this here, I have to, this that could be it. Good. Soft scrambled egg, the different cheese. Looks like there's chives on there. Oh. I think it's time for a bite, babe. I think it's time for a bite. All right, here we go. Oh, heaven. Mmm. Oh my God. That is so good. I had a big blowout on the side of that cheese. But I got a really good bite of everything. So there's a little crunch in the bacon. The onion, oh, it just tastes really nice. The egg is a soft egg, soft scrambled. Yeah. And it's absolutely delicious. I just love everything about that first bite. The key is the second. So I'm gonna take one more and then roll with it. I thought that was absolutely delicious. Now, just to let you know, Dave, we paid $7.50 for these large coffees. Okay, they literally even have their own merch here with mugs. You know, I'm a big mug fan. Not sure about the hats, but those are super cute. It has like a little egg on it. Oh, that is super cute. How cute! The little egg Very here cute. smiling. Sun's out. Bun's out. Oh, and bun's out. Now I get it. Yeah, bun's right? Out, bun's out. Yeah, that <laughs> is so funny. Vegas and the Las Vegas Strip, which is the sister company to the Aria. Now it's a comfy boutique chic style hotel and we're also booked in the cheapest room here in the Vidar and we're really excited to show you around. So I think on that note, you ready to get this party started? I'm ready. Let's rock! Hello, hello everybody, how are you? Wait a second, you know what? It's a little too dark this way. I'm gonna change gears a little bit. Let's switch sides. You ready? Let's do it. Ah. That's much better. Let there be light in my face. Starting off with this. This is awesome. This is the kitchenette that they promised you. It's nice because it's got a lot of cabinet space. It's got a microwave. And you know, sometimes eating on the strip, you guys, 
can be crazy expensive. Trust us, we know we do a lot of eating out there. So nice yeah, to have. Yeah, this is really unique for this trip too, having your own kind of kitchen, kitchen. and all that. Yes. Yeah, you've got a little mini fridge here, so you can put your drinks, your booze, your goodies, all that great stuff. Now this space for being the cheapest room here, it's pretty spacious. I like the fact too that it's got one desk here which has a little bit of pamphlet and information about the room and your stay. But look, you guys, Ooh. you get the cool pack and it looks like it has- Goodie bag. Mm -hmm, goodie bag. Oh, looks like it has a personalized Vidara mask. Love it. And of course, sanitizer. Gotta have that. A little package to store, man. Love that. Take a look at this. Look at that. Big space. Big space. Big yeah. space. Big Whoa, space. Whoa, going around. Big space. Okay, I'm kind of dizzy. So I think, I think you know that looks really comfortable right about now. The only way to really truly find out if this is super comfortable is the bed test. Dave, you ready for the bed test? I'm ready. Let's, 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 let's do it. bathroom you guys now I will say it does not have a double vanity it has a single vanity that's okay we know how to work well together we will make it work but I love that they have another deep sort of circle soaker tub I do have some extra bath salts I like to bring in there to soak these weary bones after a good night in Las Vegas <music> the best for last you guys take a look at the muse hello yeah look at that gorgeous Welcome to the Vidara pool. You guys yeah. I have to put my arm around you because my, uh, my, yeah. my watch is on here. I don't yeah. want to ruin it. Yeah, considered uh, one of the hottest pools. Yes. <laughs> from a heat standpoint. Yes, we actually learned Vegas. from a really awesome guest that this roof <laughs> shop pool here is considered the death ray pool. Yes, exactly. And why is that, Dave? Well, because of all the reflecting around here. You see all around us. All around the reflecting. Yeah, look at up. You can catch the buildings. All around. Look at those buildings. Yeah, reflecting right back onto the pool area. This is blasting it, which right. makes sense as to why now you see every yeah. every chair has an umbrella and you don't have to find an upsell. Exactly. <laughs> so no upsell for those umbrellas, folks. Yeah. It is a nice pool, though. Very nice pool. Yeah. You can see a lot of the kids are jumping right in. Yeah. Enjoying it. Yeah, and on special events, you're gonna notice in a little bit they actually have a barbecue going on. I'm getting a burger. Out here. A burger. Maybe a hot dog. A hot. Ooh, one of each. Not cheap though. No. Not cheap. Like 18, 18 bucks and then the burger, 19 bucks, 15, 18, 15. Yeah, Something crazy like prices. <laughs> yum yum. I'm gonna do a little swimming. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do some laps. Oh, yeah, right. I'm do some laps. Do some laps. Put on fast motion. There. Cafe is open. It's open. Gonna it's pick up a little bit, oh a little bit for breakfast. Lucky, lucky, Ooh. Lucky. Welcome to the Market Cafe, you guys. We figured before heading off to the pool, we wanted to come down and try a little bit of breakfast and some coffee. But before we get into that, I wanted to mention about the room tour yeah. when we did um, the kitchenettes, all the silverware and things like that. If you need that, currently what you have to do is call downstairs to request that and they will bring up those pots and pans and all the good stuff you need for cooking. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> right, a right. lot more sense. Yeah. Boy, let me tell you, this mixed berry, ah, look at that, Danish. That's pretty nice, yeah. Ooh, that looks really good. I just want something simple, a little. Something simple, look at croissant the Croissant de chocolate. Chocolate croissant. Oh, yum, yum. That's right. <laughs> 
is an unusual item. It's called a chocolate croissant, <laughs> folks. But it looks really nice and flaky. Hopefully some good chocolate goodness inside. I'm jumping right in. <laughs> Normally I lick my fingers, but hey, this is a strange world. Yeah, very strange. <laughs> Ew. Now, although we stayed at the Venetian before, we never stayed in the Venezia Tower. So we were looking forward to it. And while check-in was a breeze for New Year's Eve, getting to our room was a whole other adventure. You see, the Venezia Tower is basically located in a quiet corner of the Venetian. And although breathtakingly beautiful in decor and architecture, getting to our room felt like an almost never-ending maze. I mean, it almost reminded me of the movie, The Shining. Here's Johnny! Okay, not that bad. Nevertheless, we got a great deal. And we were looking forward to checking things out. We are staying in the cheapest room here at the Venetian. That's right, we're staying in a king suite without a strip view. Our view is basically the high roller, which is still pretty cool. And we're paying $117 a night. Uh, and this is actually over New Year's weekend, so still a pretty good rate. And following that, we are going to try something delicious. We're That's going. right, we're heading to Yardbird for some uh, great kind of breakfast brunch. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, you guys really recommended us trying Yardbird, so thank you very much. We're gonna give that one a shot. But I think it's time for us to get this party started. Definitely the room feels a little bit dated, and I think we need to show you guys exactly what the cheapest room here at the Venetian is all about. You ready to rock? I'm ready. Let's rock! <laughs> Welcome to the Venetian, the Venetia Tower, and our humble abode for the next several days. We're so excited to give you this little bit of tour, and I think what we're gonna start off with is El Baño. Love the idea of this, kind of having the vanity um, to do your makeup, ladies, when you wanna get ready for that night out in Vegas. Um, also, I'm loving the dual vanity sinks, which is nice. Love the fact that it has a nice, Sort of a deeper soaker tub there. And of course the separate shower, which is nice. Probably over here. So it kind of opens up in every room here at the Venetian. is sort of a suite. So you get this kind of nice feel of comfort, huge in comfort. So definitely feels a little bit more on the dated side in this room. Maybe one of the more originals, right Dave? It feels a little yeah. more. Oh yeah, it probably is. In comparison to the other one, right? Oh yeah, last summer we stayed in a renovated King Suite. Yeah. Um, it is the cheapest one as well, but uh, looks a little more modern. Yeah, than this, exactly. Absolutely. She got a nice TV and a nice king size bed here. You guys, oh, it looks comfortable, but the only way to truly determine its comfortability is what, Dave? Well, that's of course the bed test. That's right, you guys, it's time for the bed test. La 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 to sleep for sure. This is definitely a comfortable uh, mattress. I love the density of the cover, so we're gonna sleep really well in that. Got the end tables. I right, here's another nice creation of separation of space. You gotta step down. Watch those steps. Boop, boop. Watch the steps. Steps in the house. Step on down into your sort of living room, dining room area. <laughs> Might be. Uh, nope. Where is it? Oh, it is a pull out. So you got a pull out here. So you got a pull out in yeah. case you're coming with a family, and that's really nice to have. Let me see here. Oh, oh that's mm -hmm. cheap. That's not my That's not working. Don't worry. I'm sure fix they'll, that they'll come here and change that bulb at some yes. point. But another, like you said, you got the TV here, and of course. Uh oh, what's that? Yeah. That looks like the dreaded. The dreaded mini, mini bar. bar. Yeah, but guess what, you guys? We actually stopped at Walgreens and picked up our own little mini bar ish stuff. Believe me. <laughs> At a fraction of the cost. Are you ready for this view? I think we're ready. Well, 
Well, it's getting pretty late, guys. We're going to wrap this up. We'll see you in the morning for breakfast at Yardbird. We shall see you then. Welcome to Yardbird. Now, yes. I'll just jump right into it, you guys. There's the menu. There's a brunch special going on today. There's a lot of interesting things on there. Uh, I ended up going with just what I usually get. I like shrimp and grits. And I was told they're really good here. Yeah. I went with the smoked brisket huevos rancheros, which I'm looking forward to. We were actually here a while back and came in, and it was really busy. Oh, yeah. And it gets very busy here. The lines can be just out the door. So. If you want to come, we suggest uh, making reservations obviously now in this current situation, but also try to get one of the earlier seatings. Yes, the music is a bit on the loud side. I think for me, honestly, it's, you know, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It'd be nice to have some more ambiance versus like, ooh, shut Here we up. go, wake up everybody. Hey, it's Vegas. Ooh, okay. All right. And these look absolutely delicious. I mean, the aroma coming from this here is fantastic. Yes. So the shrimp and grits, it looks perfect. I love like the juice, the sauce. I love it, it has ham and onion and tomato. Lots of good stuff going on in there. Oh, I, the presentation of both of these dishes is excellent. Wow. Which looks amazing. The smoked brisket huevos rancheros looks very good. They did a great job with the eggs sunny side up. Cooked just the way we like it. Here we go. So I dive at the same time? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Cue music. Cue music, everybody. Mm, okay. I thought that was spot on. I love the company flavors. I would never think of putting ham that slices the ham inside of shrimp and grits. It is really, really good. The sauce, the flavors work really well. Spot on awesome. delicious. And this is, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really good. The brisket has a nice little spiciness to it. Excellent, really tender, very nice. Um, of course, you got the fresh avocado, the pico de gallo, perfectly cooked egg as well, all blended together. Thumbs up, really good. All right. Oh, so that was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Yes, the brunch here at Yardbird is excellent. Yeah, if you're coming to the Venetian, certainly recommend coming to the Yardbird. Get early reservations to enjoy some of that brunch and lunch. The food is spot on. We really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on our adventures here at the Venetian. And if you made it this far, thank you very much. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get out every time we post something new and exciting. Well, we hope you enjoyed our list of five luxury hotels in Las Vegas that won't break your budget. And if you have a favorite budget-friendly luxury hotel, please let us know in the comments below. Hey, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified every time we go live or post a video. All right, see you in the next one. So you're planning a trip to Las Vegas and you want a luxury hotel experience without breaking the budget. Now, things have gotten quite expensive here in Vegas, but you've come to the right place. 
we're sharing with you five of some of the best luxury hotels for your money here in Las Vegas. It's check-in time. <laughs> 